Hello everybody, um, it's Al from Fandom Correspondence here again. Uh, for Horror Fest 2021, I wanted to do some more tier list videos. Um, I intended to do more after my initial Spider-Man 1, but life just got the way life has been um, for all of us. But um, I wanted to do another uh, tier list video, maybe a few more, um, specifically for Horror Fest, um, because those are just so much fun. Seems like a good way to spark up some discussion and scandal. Um, so today I wanted to do one for the Silent Hill video games. Now, uh, for anyone who doesn't know or doesn't remember how tier lists work, um, it's really simple. I'm going to put things within a category, the category being the Silent Hill video games. I'm going to put those in uh, various tiers. So at the top is S tier, meaning the best of the best. At the bottom is D, meaning worst of the worst. And then from there, anything within the same tier uh, can be graded best from left to right. So um, say I have, um, I'm going to do an absurd thing. Say I have Homecoming right here and Silent Hill 3 here. That would mean that Silent Hill Homecoming um, is ranked just above Silent Hill 3, but within the same tier. Now, that's uh, that just felt weird to say. Let's get that out of there. Oh, oh, oh that was awful. Okay, so we're gonna so we're gonna rank these bad boys. Um, don't have a lot to rank. I was going to do a Resident Evil um, video game tier list, but there's a lot of Resident Evil games, and I don't think anyone wants to, to watch me do a tier list for 45 minutes. Um, so we're just going to rank uh, the Silent Hill video games real quick. I'm going to go in chronological order of release, starting with the very first one, Silent Hill, PlayStation 1, iconic video game, um, pretty much set the standard for atmospheric horror uh, when it came out. It's been a huge influence on a lot of really successful horror franchises. So one that started it all, so that obviously earns it um, a lot of buffs, right? Earns it a lot of points right there. Um, what holds it back, however, is, I don't know when the last time y'all played the first Silent Hill game was, but um, dude is rough. <laughs> PlayStation 1 games were in that weird state of video games just made the jump to 3D and that is some polygonal horror if you catch my meaning um, and it it plays kind of janky but it does have the rich history it does have the rich foundation of the franchise so I'm going to put that this might change but for right now I'm going to put that in B probably top beer top beer top tier of the B column. I guess it's a row, isn't it? Because it goes outward. Hmm. Who would have thought? Um, next, we're going with Silent Hill 2. If you all know me at all, you know Silent Hill 2 is one of my favorite games ever. I think it's one of the most perfectly made games ever. So personal bias is going to play into it. But I mean, Silent Hill 2, it just it's so influential. It's set and created a lot of the themes you see pop up in psychological horror games ever since. So we're going to go up to the tippity top. We're going to go right to S tier. We'll see where that, we'll see what happens with that one. We'll see if that stays the way it is. Um, next up we have Silent Hill 3. Um, if there's any debate in the Silent Hill community on what game competes with Silent Hill 2, it's Silent Hill 3. Um, Silent Hill 3 is a direct story successor to Silent Hill 1. Um, Silent Hill 3 gets weird, man. Um, it's really good, really well designed. Um, I think it strikes the balance between atmospheric horror and the use of jump scares um, really well. I think it probably has the most... Um, well-balanced horror out of all of these games, if I'm being real, even my beloved Silent Hill 2. Um, any points against it? Um, that story is pretty weird, man. It goes some pretty weird places. Um, I'm struggling to, to decide if I don't want to talk about specifics because I don't want to spoil it for people, or if it's just an uncomfortable visuals to talk about but um it's some weird stuff um basically i'm gonna put it in s tier because i do think it's it's one of the best horror games ever made what 
keeps it from dethroning Silent Hill 2 for me is that, yes, it's significant, but I don't think it's as iconic as Silent Hill 2. Um, Silent Hill 2, um, with Silent Hill 3, you don't really get the as much of gameplay influence on how the story and the endings go. Um, Silent Hill 2 introduces um, the iconic horror villain in Pyramid Head. Um, you don't really, I can't think of anything as iconic introduced in Silent Hill 3, um, even though Silent Hill 3 does have a lot of really great lines in it. Um, um, has a great protagonist, way more empathizable I made up a new word, empathizable protagonist um, than Silent Hill 2 for sure. So there's there's some contention there, but it's impossible to do this stuff objectively really. So I think my bias is gonna win out and I think Silent Hill 2 is gonna stay where it is. Um, Silent Hill 4, this is where it's gonna get controversial. I think Silent Hill 4 is a really good game. I think if it had been called anything else, <laughs> it would be lauded as a really terrific, enjoyable horror game. Um, it definitely has pacing problems. Um, it definitely lacks any of the horror iconography of Silent Hill 2 or even Silent Hill 1 and 3. Um, it goes a little slow, but it has a lot of really cool revolutionary ideas. I think the idea of um, the one room setting for a lot of stuff is really interesting. Um, I think it has some interesting enemy designs. Um, but the narrative is a lot more weak than a lot of the other games. And as I said, this game is paced really, really badly. Um, so I'm going to go Silent Hill 4, but I do think it's good. I think it does suffer from being called a Silent Hill game when it really isn't. Um, I'm going to throw this bad boy in B behind Silent Hill 1. We're going to see where this... B to C tier is going to be crowded, and we're going to see how things shape up um, by the end of this. Silent Hill Origins. Here we go. Silent Hill Origins. Is it the best Silent Hill game? No. Does it have the tightest, most interesting storyline? No, not by a long shot. Does it have the coolest, most punch you in the face I'm awesome protagonist out of all the games hell yeah um, Silent Hill Origins is great Silent Hill Origins is a blast it remains the only Silent Hill game where instead of trying to scramble for something you can find to hit these horrible flesh zombies with you just beat these things with your bare hands and everything is a weapon and it's so much fun. I'm smiling just thinking back on playing this friggin' game. Um, Origins is a blast. And when it comes down to video games, I mean, even horror video games, yeah, story is important. Atmosphere is important. Pacing is important. All of that. But man, they're games. And games are meant to be fun. And Silent Hill Origins is a lot of fun. So I'm going to do something pretty controversial here. I'm going to put... This guy in A. We're gonna see how these tiers work out, but I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with Origins in A. I am. Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Um This is a weird one. This one was on Wii. Um it utilized the motion controls in a really weird way. It was a new approach where you didn't really fight back against the enemies, you were more um running from stuff and hiding from stuff. It kind of dipped its toes into the more um, the more recent iterations of what survival horror is, where it's more hiding survival based, um, based than um, a balance between um, survival and fighting. I wasn't huge on this. It's kind of a retelling of the first game, but I don't think it's a very good retelling of it. Um, but, you know, it tries and I don't think it's terrible. That being said, I don't think it's very fun either. So I'm gonna put this guy in C. I don't think it's worthy of the bottom tier. I really don't. But even after it was ported to PlayStation and you don't have to worry as much about the motion controls, it's just, it's a weird fit into the franchise. Um, I'm not sure the decisions they made to differentiate it from the original were really, um, really hit their mark. 
Um, so now we're down to what a lot of Silent Hill fans would describe as the bottom of the barrel. Uh, we got Homecoming and we got Downpour. Um, Homecoming, to me, is weird because Homecoming, I don't think at its core, I don't think it's a bad horror game, but I do think it's an atrocious Silent Hill game. Um, it's almost a Silent Hill 4 type deal where if it was just called Homecoming and it it didn't have anything to do with Silent Hill, I'd obviously hold it in higher, um, um, in higher favor than I do. But Homecoming, I mean, the idea behind survival horror is supposed to be that you're fighting for your life and you're trying to survive these awful stacked against you odds. Whereas in Silent Hill Homecoming, you drop in your... John claude Van Damme um, just wrecking enemies with combos. <laughs> I'll never forget, you get to the final boss, and you're just like, it's supposed to be this really terrifying face-off with this psychological horror that's been scratching at the back of your mind, and it shows up, and it should be a terrifying, tense thing, and you got your boy just doing knife combos on it, just ducking and weaving and going crazy. Um, that's not very that's not very scary to me <laughs> I think it kind of defeats the purpose um, it seems like it, it has really loose connections to Silent Hill lore um, it tries and fails to do the whole thing where gameplay affects the story and the ending you get by having the only influential factors being two very obvious do you want good or do you want bad um, decisions you make um, I'm going to put Homecoming in D. I'm going to put it at the bottom. It's not there. It's not there for me, y'all. And then lastly, we have Downpour. Um, this tier list does not include um, the PT demo. I kind of wish it did. But um, uh, the PT demo would probably be an S tier. It was really good. Um, we have Downpour. Downpour was weird because Downpour was not as bad as Homecoming. But I really don't think it was as good as any of the mainline games. Um, they tried some stuff with it. You have like, you have like a bunch of dialogue options in Downpour, but I don't. From what I remember, the dialogue options don't factor into the story or the gameplay very much. Um, they just kind of serve as a somewhat interactive break in the pacing. Um, you. You were more apt of a fighter than in any of the first three games, but not as insane <laughs> super fighter as you are in Homecoming. The story wasn't bad, but again, it did feel more loosely connected to Silent Hill. Um, it almost felt like a Hellraiser um, sequel in a way, just kind of throwing the name on there to retain the rights, um, which I don't think was the case, but it definitely felt like that so downpour I'm gonna put in C I'm gonna put in C and let me look over this real quick I think the tiers are just about right for everything I think I am gonna bump the original up to a but still behind origins I know that's probably crazy to most people but that's how that's how my gaming experience is you really have both ends of the spectrum in A. You have the game that I find super fun and the game that I find very chore-ish to actually sit down and play. Um, and I think I'm going to change C up. I think I'm going to put Downpour above Shattered Memories. Do people like Silent Hill Shattered Memories? Do Silent Hill fans like that game? I don't really know. I know they don't like Homecoming, and I know they don't like um, Downpour. I don't know if people will actually like this game or not. But um, a similar kind of logic as, as to the A column. Um, just, I think, Downpour is a little bit more fun to play than Shattered Memories. I don't think either of these are particularly scary. Um, but... As far as the experience goes, uh, that's where they stand. I think I'm happy with that. I don't know if you're happy with this. You probably aren't, because Silent Hill fans are, speaking as a Silent Hill fan, we're very pretentious. So <laughs> you probably absolutely hate this. If you do, then let me know. Holler at me about it. Um, holler at your boy. 
Tell me what you disagree with. Tell me what you agree with. Tell me what kind of restless dreams haunt your nights as you think about that town. Um, just tell me what kind of blood sacrifices you've done to hopefully get a new good game out of Konami. Um, but um, yeah, I think that's going to do it um, for this one. I wanted this one to be a little shorter, a little bit more concise. Um, I've got a couple other videos coming up that are going to be a bit more long. Um, and um, hopefully those will be enjoyable. But hey, everybody, happy Halloween. I love Halloween. And I hope you do too. I hope you're enjoying Horror Fest 2021. Check us out. We have podcasts going on. We have videos going on. Um, we love Horror Fest. Um, at the end of the day, though, um, safety, seriously, is first. Everyone will be safe out there. Everyone will be kind to each other. Um, and have a ha happy Halloween. Bye, Solid Hill.